All right. The moon landing. Who shot JR? The last mash. Super Bowl 42 is the catch. The premiere of ALF. Where does the 1,000th episode of Red Eye rate in the pantheon of TV milestones? I'd say better than all of those mentioned combined. But that's just one man's very humble opinion. Jim Norton weighed in, and then Bill Schultz hit the street to gauge public euphoria. Sadly, he came back. Congratulations uh, for doing a thousand episodes and still having managed to have less of an impact than the Paul Reiser show. Perhaps it's because the host can barely be seen over the table or the rest of the on-air staff has the charisma of a Petri dish. But the news is good. Fox, they're not ready to promote the show yet, but they're going to stop denying that it is actually on the network. Anytime you need me, I'll be here. Unless, of course, Hannity needs me, in which case I'll step over your dead bodies to accommodate him. A thousand, many more, whatever you say. Ugh. So, Red Eye's 1,000th episode, uh, how do you plan on celebrating tonight? Not. What do you mean? I'm not going to. Because you're in mourning that you work nights and you're going to miss it? I hate that show. What's 1,000? Red Eye. The show Red Eye. You've been on a couple times. I don't remember that. When was I on that? What do you do here? Uh, what do I do here? Yes. I feel like the better question is what don't I do here? I'm sort of a man of all seasons and yes, I'm the co-host and you're more than welcome to congratulate me right now because God knows I've deserved it. Go ahead, congratulate me. Okay. Go on. Hey, Martha, what are your thoughts on the 1000th Red Eye? Who are you? Security! Red Eye's 1000th episode. How do you intend on celebrating tonight? What's Red Eye's? Red Eye. What Red With Eye? With Greg Gutfeld. I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. What? I haven't seen it. <laughs> Is it, who's, who's supposed to win? Huh? <laughs> the Patriots. Brian, kill me. Listen, Bill Schultz, uh, Red Eye's 1,000th show. Ever think we'd make it that far? Um, I'm not really sure um, what Red Eye is, but are you the new intern? Uh, are you here really. the PA? Because uh, I got Kissinger tomorrow. Can you read this book and tell me, and, and tell me what I need to know? Okay. Can I, uh, can I skim? Do not skim. Red Eye with Greg Gutfeld, 1,000 episodes. How do you intend on celebrating tonight? I'm not celebrating at all. I don't even know anything about it. So, uh, and yes, it's me, Red Eye. Charles, 1,000th episode. You've been on a lot of them. What are your thoughts? How are you going to celebrate? What? Red Eye. Visine? Wait, do you know what Red Eye is? It's that show that's on in the middle of the night on uh, Fox News Channel. I mean, there's a lot of goofing around, and then you have that guy who, uh, you know, who kind of summarizes the show and makes fun of everybody who's on the panel. Yeah, he kind of sucks, right? Yeah, he does suck. What time do you plan on watching it? When it's on, when it goes on. Which is? 10 o'clock. Bye. Hammer, Hammer, Yo. it's Bill. Red Eye. Who? Red Bill. Listen, Red Eye's 1000. Who? What are your thoughts? Bill. Billy. Billy Jean King. You're Billie Jean King! Oh my gosh! Could you... Could you sign my ball? Who do I make this out to? That, um... Captain Awesome. Say Red Eye! Later Eye! No, Red Eye! Later Eye! Close enough! Whee! You're welcome, America! You're welcome! Tune in! <laughs> You know, Bill, the interesting thing about uh, Red Eye's 1000th show is that the show has officially lasted longer than your predicted life expectancy. We, th we thought that perhaps you would be dead by 2008. This is a huge show, not because of this episodic thing that you keep talking about. This is the first time My Man on the Street has been the lead story. <laughs> that is true. And we finally have a budget for a float, that was as you saw. An yes. interesting float, if that's what you're calling him. That was, uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry, him. Yes. Hey, Anne, the first time you watched this show, you hated it, didn't you? Intensely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the first six months. I almost watched it the same way. Today I watch MSNBC and then mm -hmm. it grew on me. Yeah. And I, ca I can't miss it now. It's like a, it's like a horrible, incurable <laughs> fungus. Yes. You know? You're a TV guy. Mm -hmm. Rob, you've been in, you, are, you were involved in Cheers. How much better is Red Eye than Cheers? <laughs> well, um, they're really hard to compare. I'd say. You know, you know those thing in the '60s when those monks would pour gasoline over themselves yes. and light it on fire. Yeah. Red Eye's a little bit better than that. Oh, good, good. I guess that's. A, I take that as somewhat of a compliment. Yeah. I'm scared. Thank Lauren, you, Lauren. Two words. Uh, yoga news. You were you were uh, on Red Eye in the old days. Did it harm or help your career? Well, Greg, I'm no longer a full-time employee. <laughs> <laughs> so answer the question. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, you put you put the dots together on that one. <laughs> but man, did I make a name for myself. Yeah, you Thank you, Red Eye. <laughs> you actually gave up yoga after that, didn't you? Oh, yes. I gave up a lot of things, Greg. Yes. <laughs> and I stopped taking orders from you. <laughs> That's true. It helped my career immensely. Well, the reason why we're here is our fans. We have a, an incredible yes. fan base. Yes. Uh, uh, the, the most intense group of people on the planet. And uh, so we owe it all to them, I think. All right. They are intense. Shall we do some news? Nah. I nah. want to talk about the fans. All right. Let's talk about the fans. <laughs> I'm more. all about the people. You, do you pick up on any of the fans when, you're, when you run into them? Do you ever sleep with them, Bill? <laughs> no, but here's the problem. I literally pick them up. Oh, yes. <laughs> I will grab them and just hug the crap out of them. Yes. And A, they run away. And B, yell out that they are no longer fans. Uh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> sort of reverse gorilla, pub, gorilla marketing right there. There you yeah, go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Hey, Andy. Hey, so, uh, Greg? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to say it. Yeah? Did some research during the first half of the show, crunched some numbers. Turns out tonight's show is number 999. Really? <laughs> yeah. How do we, how do we yeah. screw up? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but tune in tomorrow, America. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean show. we do this all over again? What's that? Do we do this all over again? No, we'll just do another one tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rerun. Uh, thousandth show. Greg, you asked where Red Eye's thousandth, thousandth episode ranks in the pantheon of television milestones, and you used examples like uh, Who Shot JR, The Last Mash, The Premiere of ALF, and The Moon Landing. Yeah. The difference is those are all fictional shows. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Uh, Everything it, done on a soundstage, Andy. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's yeah. how it works these days. Yeah. yeah. ALF is real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, watching you on that thing you called a float, yes, uh, put me in the mind of the gay pride parade for some reason. Uh, P.S. That dude in the tie thinks you should be fired. I saw that actually. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Yeah. I'm glad you did. He went yeah. in a long speech. We had to cut it. To did you really? Yes. Yeah. Maybe we can put the whole thing up online. Maybe. Not a fan. Really? Not a fan. And there were people behind him cheering. <laughs> were they really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, Ann, did you really hate Red Eye when you first saw it? Uh, yes, but in my defense, the first six months really did suck. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah they were yeah. Bad. I, don't, I wouldn't say six months. I'd say four months. Eh, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Rob? I, six? I, I don't know what to, who mom and dad are fighting. I'd say five months. I'd say, you know what I feel? I, you know, this is like your parents discussing how ugly you were as a baby. As a baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then you look at me now. I'm beautiful. It's what? true. It's I really true. am. I am yeah. beautiful. I am. I'm beautiful. But they all, all the swans used to be ugly. Ducklings, Andy. Hey, maybe when you wow. can't run a show, wow. you could run one of those early shows to prove to the viewers who is right here. I don't <laughs> think there's any reason to show any early episode, particularly ones that ran like like before the first Memorial Day. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 No, I'm pretty sure those don't exist was anymore. Was that four yes. months or six months? Four. Yeah, that was like four. Okay, yeah. fine, you win. Yeah. Hey, Rob, is it okay if we use uh, better than when those monks in the 60s used to pour gasoline over themselves and set themselves on fire in our next ad campaign? <laughs> yeah, but, you cool? know, oh, not absolutely. for free. No, not absolutely. For free. <laughs> absolutely. It's not uh, roblong.org, okay? Sure. <laughs> Dot sure. com, baby. You got it, baby. All and, right. Andy, All right. next ad campaign? Yeah, I, I, was, I, I was hoping someone would catch that. Yeah. Uh, hey, Lauren, I believe we have an old clip of you doing yoga. Michael, can we roll that? Don't you? Don't. No, no. We, I'm now being told we don't have it. Oh, <laughs> oh what a shame! Yeah. What a shame! You couldn't yeah. dig that up in the uh, archives. I apologize, Lauren. I apologize. Apologize to your fans, Andy. Yeah. Uh, apologize right? to them. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Greg Log and GOP debate. Greg, you said you assumed that Lauren was sober enough to watch the debate. <laughs> in a thousand episodes, that's probably the funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lauren, you said Michelle Bachman is the closest of any of the candidates, or that any of the candidates would be to a rebound person for you. It's so hot. She was the best looking. Yeah. My book. Do you want to go on and t talk more about this? <laughs> we can talk about it off camera, Andy. If okay. You like. That works for me. Sorry, Doesn't fans. work for our viewers. Sorry, though. America. <laughs> yeah. A live tweet. Uh, and you said you think Chris Christie won the debate. He, of course, wasn't there. A lot of people seem to think someone else who wasn't there uh, kind of won, and that's Rick Perry. Um, possibly. Yeah. I'd... Good. That's good news for Aerosmith fans, right? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 Andy, you're confusing. Uh, uh, you're what, confusing. Did I, what did I get wrong? Uh, Rick Perry was the great uh, center for the Golden State Warriors. Right. Is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I totally got win, that win, wrong. Win. Yes. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, Greg, you said Herman Cain got a lot of grief for that thing that he said. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, is helpful for the viewers at home. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that sends them back to the internet, Andy, and that's a helpful tool. <laughs> is, that, is that it? Is that how it works? All right. Uh, do you mean that when he said it's not that he wouldn't have any Muslims in his government, he just wouldn't have any of the ones who want to kill us? Yes. Okay. He, would it take a bold stance, Herman? Well, I think way. he needed to clarify, right? Yeah, I guess so. I just, I, did any of the other candidates come out against that? Uh, Could I defend Herman Cain here? Um, please. I think he should have said he's going to take the position of the most beloved Democrat in history, FDR, and just mm. throw them all in internment camps. That would have gone over well, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You should not be managing Herman Cain. No. So. <laughs> no. Mm. Or, or, just anyone, a thought or anyone else's, for that mm. matter. Yes. And yeah. I disagree with them both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, you know, I do think it's good that he wouldn't have anyone in his government who wants to kill us. Yeah. I think, good for him. They should, they should take, they should take yeah. an oath. I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong with taking an oath? Some kind of loyalty oath? Yes. Yeah, you would think that's a good idea. Andy, we did that in my, in my treehouse. I, I, I know. I know. I signed. Yes, we, did. Signed. we used salamander blood. Yes, we did. Yeah, that was yes, fun. We did. And then we, drank, you, then we drank it. Yeah, yeah, but you still left me there and went roller skating with Katie. <laughs> First of all, I'm not a salamander, and second of all, that hurt. <laughs> I've still got an open wound. First of all, you are a salamander. <laughs> second of all, it was supposed to hurt. I take issue with you. Uh, Rob, Hot Air's Ed Morrissey says it's time to dump these debates. Is he right? Uh, well, no, not at all. This is yeah. when people get to know who the candidates are and they get to see them. And, and look, if, if, if we dump these debates, what would people write about on the Internet? So he's <laughs> sure. the, the kind of all we got right now. The whole Internet would probably shut down. Well, at least 30 percent of it. Yeah, yeah, the rest is just Netflix streaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, and, send, and sending uh, penis pictures. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, news anchor tries to tell a joke to the Dalai Lama. Rob, I'm with you. The Lama has totally heard that joke before. He was just screwing with oh, the anchor. Oh, couldn't you tell? Yeah. Can you tell? Like, yeah. oh, I haven't heard. Oh, please. Uh, dude, please. Sub he submitted his position as political leader like a couple months ago. He just doesn't care anymore. Yeah. You know what? Exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. He's phoning it in. Yeah. Plus, He's phoning I was, his holiness in. I was, I was out with the Lama back in, I think, one night. I think it was like 1987. Yeah. He no. tells the filthiest jokes. No, yeah. that's right. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> Makes Gilbert Gottfried sound like Mother Teresa. Absolutely. Uh, amazing. I don't believe he, that. He, yep. he does also, good also, Sam Kinison, though. Dude, he's got some good Sam Kinison stuff, yeah. the old stuff. Also total racist. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Andy. Weird. Weird. What's up? Why do you say such things? <laughs> That's wrong. It's fun. It's not true, though. I know. It's a, of course it's not true. You're going to have to apologize. It's the Dalai Lama. I know. I know. Uh, I don't cool have to apologize. He, did, he didn't understand what I said. <laughs> uh, Wiener diagnosis. Greg, you said experts interviewed by Politico say he could suffer from a buttload of conditions. Their words. Yes. Not their words. Really? <laughs> no. You know, I did think that was strange. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who, uh, whoever, I, whoever wrote that uh, did you wrong there. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm having a problem with our writing staff. Uh, we need yeah, to get yeah. all of them together tomorrow. Absol absolutely. We'll probably have to use the cafeteria. Because there's so many. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or a closet. What? Or a closet. Are you uh, inferring somebody's sexuality? <laughs> no, I would have been implying. I, I saw the camera moving. I just yeah. like, all right, here it comes. Yeah. Here it comes. Yeah. 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 I, would, I would have been implying you would have been inferring. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I forgot that, Mr. Grant, you still have your grammar hat on. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. It's very pointy. Yes, it certainly yes. is. Uh, and lastly, Lauren, you said if being in love with looking at yourself in the mirror is a condition that requires treatment, please point you to the nearest rehab clinic. Guys, should we tell her why she's really here tonight? <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> Guys! Lauren, Lauren, everybody here loves you. <laughs> and I think everybody would like to say something. Uh, Bill, did you want to go first? Uh, I actually don't know why I'm here, Lauren. <laughs> uh, I'm both an enabler and your dealer. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to make I, a I, quick I, exit. I, wait, I, I, is Lauren, it a crime Lauren, to be in love with yourself? Lauren, your addiction has affected me in a following <laughs> number of ways. <laughs> One time, I can't read this. One yeah. time, you parked my car in the middle of the street with the keys still in it. <laughs> to be fair, we, we thought they, we thought more people would show up. In the yes. yes. They, yeah. Turns all, out, turns out they just want you to be drunk all the time. Yes. Yeah. 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 They don't love you. You're so much fun that way. You're so much fun that way. They only love fun, Lauren. Yeah. Mm. Not the real Lauren. No. No. Not the real Lauren. They yeah. hate the real Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. Let's face it. After a few pina coladas, you're a lot easier to make out with. Yeah. No kidding. Thanks, guys. No, no, the Navy Bill, thanks Bill, you. Just it's after, no Bill, people care. Bill, after a few pina coladas, you just you think the fern in the corner is Lauren. That's the problem. The what in the corner? The fern. What's happening in the corner? The fern. 
Mm. Yeah, Burn. nobody heard it. Yeah. Is that a I, metaphor? I, no, it's not. All right, are we done here? You're yeah, we're, we're done. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go, Andy. Coming up. That does it for today's adventure. If you're new here, please subscribe. Take it one step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big old like and a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. Right on.